and welcome back to our channel. Today we're coming to you from beautiful Morro Bay, California. You may recognize the name Morro Bay from the Disney Pixar movie, Finding Dory. It takes place in Morro Bay at the Marine Life Institute. Now the Marine Life Institute is a fictional place, but Morro Bay is a very real town right here on the Central Coast. Morro Bay is named for Morro Rock, just behind us. We'll be diving into that a little more in depth later as we bring you the core four things to do in Morro Bay, California. Morro Bay is a popular destination for road trips along the scenic Highway 1. The town is nestled on the shores of a picturesque bay surrounded by rolling hills and stunning natural beauty. The skyline is unmistakable with the three distinct stacks and the impressive Morro Rock. One of our favorite things to do in Morro Bay is to get out and go for a hike. And one of the best hikes around is Black Hill. Come along for the ride. There are several trails on Black Hill to get to the top, all the way from the bottom, or there's a parking lot about a quarter mile from the top. Black Hill is one of the Nine Sisters, which is a chain of volcanic peaks that stretch all the way from San Luis Obispo to Morro Bay. This is one of them, so you're going to see rocks like this one behind me throughout the hike. So we've had record rainfall this year, so California is in a super bloom, and the wildflowers have exploded, like this beautiful orange one right here. The hike to the top of Black Hill is relatively short but steep, making it a moderate level trail. Once you get to the top, it is well worth it. Because you get rewarded with a 360 degree view of Morro Bay and the surrounding areas. We were so lucky to have a clear day to enjoy the views. Well, there you have it. It's easy to see why this is our favorite hike in Morro Bay. If you're coming out to Morro Bay, make sure you don't miss Black Hill. The next thing on our list is lunch, and there's only one place that we like to go, and that is Tognazini's Dockside. It's a great little fish market right on the water. You can get your food ordered at the counter, have a seat outside, and they'll call your name when it's ready. You can't beat the location sitting right above the water at this popular eatery. There's often live music to enjoy as well. So I got the clams and chips because it gives you a huge basket of fried clam strips, which are the best. Plus all these chips. And I got a variety of seafood with chips as well. And one of their signature things here at Dockside Fish Market, the barbecued oysters. Barbecued oysters are barbecued in garlic butter on the grill and come with a side of lemon. So fresh, so garlicky, just out of this world. So that was an absolutely delicious lunch. It's the perfect spot to stop for lunch because you are right by the water and it's something easy and fresh and delicious. We even got to sit front row and watch local kids jump into the ocean. If you're looking for a little more traditional meal, Tognazini's has you covered too. They have a traditional restaurant right behind us, just in front of the fish market, that has a more sit down atmosphere and servers. Another must-do in Morro Bay is the Carousel Candy Company. And they have salt water taffy. What else do you want when you're down at the shore? They have big buckets that you fill up. You put your taffy choices in there and then they pay by the pound. There was an overwhelming variety of flavors to choose from and the store smelled super sweet. 
so you also get free samples. That's right, so you can try the more unusual flavors like red velvet cake, pickle taffy, and PB&J. Don't miss taking home the sweet treat when you visit Morro Bay. And our number one thing to do here in Morro Bay is go see Morro Rock. There's a small parking lot near the Coast Guard Station, right across the street from the tall smokestacks from the old power plant. This is the perfect place for a nice mile-long walk along the waterfront to the rock and back. Or there is plenty of parking if you'd prefer to drive out to the rock. Morro Rock is an iconic landmark here in Morro Bay, California. It's one of the Nine Sisters. Standing 576 feet tall, it is a massive landmark jutting out into the Pacific Ocean. Morro Rock is a protected sanctuary for a lot of seabirds, including the peregrine falcon, and it holds a lot of cultural and historical significance for the area. Which is why it is prohibited to climb Morro Rock. Twice a year, the Salina Nation has authorization to climb Morro Rock in order to connect with their ancestral heritage and perform ceremonies or rituals at the summit. Morro Rock used to be about twice the height it is today, but they blasted it to create the jetty that protects the harbor. Morro Rock is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including birds, marine mammals, and ground squirrels. Please don't feed these animals as it can cause harm to both the animals and humans. One of the coolest parts of taking a walk around Morro Rock is to come to this area where you can see all of these stacks of stones where people have balanced one on top of the other and you could add your own to the stacks as well. From big stones to small, it's kind of fun to put your mark on this art installation here. This side of the rock provides a protected bay where you can watch boats leaving the harbor or seals playing in the water. Be sure to stop by the Fisherman's Family Sculpture right near Morro Rock. It is dedicated to those who wait in honor of those who had to watch their loved ones head out and return from the sea. Another fun thing to do at Morro Rock is to come over to this side and watch the surfers. With its favorable surf conditions, Morro Bay attracts surfers of all skill levels, and watching the surfers at Morro Bay is a popular pastime for locals and visitors alike. The sandy beach on this side of the rock is very popular with tourists and can get crowded throughout the summer months. So that wraps it up for the core four things to do in Morro Bay, California. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.